Well, for many of us as believers during this time of the year, uh, many Christians are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, celebrating Christmas and different things. But there are just a lot of other things going on during this time, especially now in 2020. In 2020, the winter solstice, which uh, pagans believe starts uh, December 21st, they're believing that this year, this date is more significant than any date in the world's history, because this is supposedly the day where Saturn and Ju Jupiter are conjoined uh, to form uh, an entity they believe will bring or usher in the age of Aquarius. They believe that they're going to be miracles and they even believe that the Messiah who we know as Antichrist is supposed to come um, that particular day or be unveiled that particular day. Uh, they believe all kinds of spiritual workings are going on on that day. Um, and, you know, most importantly, this is supposed to be the day of alien activity or beings from other dimensions, a lot of strong activity. So this is why you're seeing people, you know, like Kyrie Irving burning sage and people are burning sage and people are doing different things that are pagan, that witches or Wicca that come from uh, witchcraft. They're doing these things because they're trying to uh, open themselves up for the spiritual entities that are supposed to come and invade our world uh, on December 21st. So this is what the vaccine is all about. This is what COVID is all about. All of these things are distractions because while they've got you focused on the vaccine where they can make all this money, um, our, our government has declared, uh, our vice president declared that the uh, space force that was created to deal with these entities are now called the guardians. So there's like a real guardians of the galaxy going on right now. There are all kinds of spiritual things happening. I told y'all back in 2015, 14, when I talked about CERN in a uh, pop life, and I told you they were opening up portals into other dimensions. You've seen it in movies. You've seen it you know, and, and, and everything that they've, you know, pretty much shown on TV, you've seen it in, uh, television shows like Stranger Things, all this stuff, the upside down, Dungeons and Dragons, all of these things are pointing to what they're considering, uh, the sol solstice. Uh, and if, even if you get an app on your phone, you can look up in the sky at night and you can see that Jupiter and Saturn are closer together than they've ever been. And so since I guess it was like 1863 or something like that, but they're, they're so close and they're believing that this is going to cause all of this spiritual wickedness. Well, the Bible tells us about spiritual wickedness as well. And this is why we as Christians, we don't partake in saging. We don't partake in meditation. We don't clear our minds and those kinds of things. Those are things that usher in these entities. When you meditate, clear your mind, all those things. That meditating on the word is a totally different thing. That means that you're not emptying yourself out completely, but you're taking the Bible and you're filling yourself with the word of God. That's different. But just clearing your mind in the yoga yoga positions and all this stuff. We don't do yoga. We don't do transcendental meditation. We don't do those things because those things open us up and make our human spirit tap into other realms, which opens us up for these beings to come and overtake us. Now, understand something. These beings aren't our friends. Okay. They are not friendlies. Uh, these are things that will come into your life and wreak havoc on your life. And you'll look up and you will just have a barrage of bad decisions, bad choices. And by the time you're 40 and 50 years old, you will hate the decisions that you made and the course that you took because you were overtaken by a being that directed your life and it wasn't the Holy Spirit. So this is why we have salvation. This is why we have the Holy Ghost. This is why we have the power of God to overcome this stuff, to fight against this stuff. So listen, people, do not go for this new age stuff. Don't tap into this new age stuff. You're not a part of the age of Aquarius. Quit reading your horoscopes. Quit doing the yoga. Quit saging all of these things. Stop this stuff. Get back in the word of God because only God is going to carry us through these this next season of our world, y'all. This is going to be trying and it's going to be uh, tough and your faith is going to be tested. But if you fill yourself with the word of God and meditate on his word and, and, and get a true relationship with him and a true understanding of who he is, he'll see us through this time. <laughs>